Today I'm going to show you five stunning S-Class multi-tools in No Man's Sky Beyond. These are confirmed to be obtainable in the Beyond update and are in the best of the best that have been found so far for both alien and experimental type multi-tools. A lot of these multi-tools were actually found before Beyond, but because Beyond changed the locations of the S-Class cabinets, a lot of them have had to be refound. So uh, yeah, don't worry, these are completely accurate, these are definitely here now in Beyond. Also a thing to note is that a lot of people have been reporting of empty cabinets, not just a different multi-tool but an empty one. Now I think this is down to multiplayer. So people are being synced and there's multiple people in the system at the same time. One person takes the weapon and it's gone for everyone that then saves in your save file as it not being there anymore so it won't return so there is no current retroactive fix for this what you need to do is turn multiplayer off before you go there and i'm pretty certain that will fix it well i say fix it it just will prevent it from taking it away because someone else isn't there because if it syncs that then it's going to sync it for everyone who joins that particular group and that could just indefinitely go on so only one person gets it. So just make sure multiplayer is turned off before you go to any of these systems to get the multi-tools. And it should be fine and a multi-tool will be there. Just a bit of a PSA. So right, let's get into the multi-tools. This is the first MT, it is a light green horned S-Class Experimental with black diamond decals. It was discovered by Lava Lamp and to get it Essentially, you've got to come here and reload. So, we'll just pop in and have a look. There it is, looking all beautiful. This multi-tool is found on the same planet that you portal into, which is called, by default, Anobiak 13. The number will likely change via platform, but it will always be called Anobiak. The Latin long to find this minor settlement is 18.91 by negative 30.63. Once you get here, you need to reload on the landing pad here. Um, once you've landed, get out, reload, and then it will appear. If you don't reload, you'll see a cool little blue experimental pistol, which will of course also be S-Class, but it's got like hardly any slots. Sadly, with Beyond, we can't automatically see the bonuses, but they're fairly standard when it comes to MT, so I would just suggest going for the one that you want for the aesthetic that you want the price for this mt here is 7.5 million as it is with all s class mts and you'll get 70 percent of your current mts value off it so yeah be beautiful mt there big thank you to lava lamp 64 for discovering this i believe it was a rediscover so uh nice one man thank you very kind for discovering and sharing it with us off to the next one um, quick note, I've turned uh, base building restrictions off in my files because that's a thing you can do on PC which you can't on the others unfortunately. Which is allowing me to basically place down comm stations to note these. So on PC they will be marked. On uh, PS4 and Xbox probably not unless someone put a base there. This here is the second multi-tool. This is an awesome looking alien. Red and black and there it is. It looks so cool doesn't it? The I love like just red and black. As you can tell, I'm this kind of fits really fits my uh, my general appearance. This bad boy can be found by reloading on the first planet where you come through the portal. It's a bubble planet, so get out your ship and reload there. So once you've got your ship, got out, reloaded, you'll head to this planet which is called Gert. This here is a barren planet. It's called Gert, and it. Basically, you can tell, it's it's like the next closest planet, kind of, to the space station. It has cactus, flesh, and emerald, pyrite, magnetized ferrite. Uh, just head to here and head to the coordinates. Negative 35.21 by 69.31. Just head inside and it'll be there. Just make sure to not reload anywhere else. Reload on the bubble planet and then come here. Um, and just get it and job's good and if it's not there just reload on the ball planet again i'd suggest the beaconing this place if my comm station isn't here because uh, you're on ps4 or xbox or something if you really want to help everyone just stick a base here and then 
put like nine or however many pieces required to upload, then upload it. So yeah, just a thought. Why did they put comp station in the general friggin' uh, Please HG, uh, could you move this back to portable so it can be uh, placed without a base again? And here we are at number three. This bad boy is a beautiful sort of purple lilac with uh, faded blue decals. It looks really cool. This was found by Zula and he posted it on the No Man's Sky Coordinate Exchange Reddit. Very, very cool find, man. See, it's so odd, you just really don't generally see this type. So yeah, very cool. Nice, simple, experimental with beautiful colours. If you want to find this bad boy, it's on the planet that you come through the portal at. Which I don't know if it's the default, but it's a name that way on this and I don't know if you found it on PC. But anywho, it's a planet that you come to the portal at. It's a hot planet as you can see. It's uh, quite cool looking. To be honest with you very deep reds anywho you can find it at the coordinates 29.41 by 75.30 i'm going to put a comm station on pc as usual yeah really nice mt man looks beautiful one last quick note before we do move on to the next one um if this doesn't appear in the multiple cabinet as that specific weapon is a different weapon then pop to the space station land reload and come back that should make sure it appears but you shouldn't have to do that also bitching dinosaurs check that out that's just cool let's get a photo look at him he's so cool yeah right back to the mts back to the mts i'm not i'm sorry i got distracted Wow, this is a really beautiful planet. Anyway, this is where the next MT is, so uh, let's head over to the settlement. But seriously, wow. I'd recommend coming to this one just for this planet. Bloody hell. I love this. I'll be spending time here. Thank you, Lava Lamp. That's who found this next MT as per damn usual with most of the awesome MTs we have. And here we are at number four, this bad boy. Oh, we're greeted by Gek. Hello, you're a girl of a lot of you. good boy. Right, now we've been distracted by a adorable Gek. We can go to this, which is, yeah, number four. And it's marked with four, even though that's just the button I use to interact. So this bad boy was another one found by Lava Lamp. It's fantastic, nice one, dude. It's a beautiful with its blue ass crystal, its purpley ness and to black. So yeah, I hope it looks really cool. Um, one of these sort of lipstick uh, esque type aliens looks really cool. If you're having trouble getting this one, but there is an MT there, then be sure to pop to the space station, get out your ship, reload, and it should appear as it's part of that pool, which should be there by default, but sometimes there's some issues. Now, this isn't on the first planet you go through the portal at. That is that beautiful snowy paradise, which I'll definitely be checking out, because that's just it's stunning as far as planets go. I love snow. But uh, basically, just head up from that planet, head to... Now, it's a mouthful. Diagnotia Yuga. It's this uh, hot planet here. And, uh, yeah, head here, head to the coordinates... 44.23 by 177.48 and uh, yeah you'll find this here thingamadoo now awesomely on PC I haven't even got to mark this because KJPC Gaming also known in game as NMS player um, has put a base down here which is very nice of her KJPC Gaming makes uh, No Man's Sky content you should check her out she's cool yeah I like it a nice little uh, basic base with a uh, Teleport Dallas Cullis and ooh, refined as well, that's helpful. Happy Dizzles. I definitely need to come here and uh, go to that frost one. That's definitely going to happen very soon. I want to come here, I want to warp here, damn it. So I can build a base and be awesome. Oh, nice, there's a home station as well. Um, that's probably, yeah, by KJ, nice one. So, yes, definitely check this one out. That's like uh, definitely one of the top tier ones. Oh yes, if you like Alien, that's one of the best I've seen. It really is. So right, off to the last multi-tool location, Shibuya 
Oh yes, it's pretty. Oh so pretty. And here we are at the site of the last one, another Gek to greet us, which is nice. Heidi Ho, you're not as colourful, but uh, hmm, Heidi Ho. Uh, right, so yeah, this bad boy is quite stunning. There we go, it's white with a black diamond decal pattern, and the best thing, pink crystals. This looks fantastic, I love this design. The white is a kind of off-white as well, which actually fits quite well, it's not too bright. This bad boy was found again by Mr. Lava Lamb 64, as you might expect. And uh, yeah, to find this bad boy, essentially, once you come to the portal, go up into space, head to Lizebu. Um, it's called Lizebu 5 on PC, but that might be different on PS4 and Xbox. Lizebu will be the same, but the 5 might be different. That tends to change via platform. Hello there again. He's a. Uh, I'm not, sure, not, not exactly sure what he's doing, but anywho. So yeah, head here, then head to the Latin long of minus 49.92 by negative 30.15. I know I said minus, then negative. They're the same thing. Um, so yeah, head to those coordinates and you'll find this place. If it's not there, well, if there is a different multi-tool in its place, then make sure to head to the space station, get out your ship, reload, then head back here, as it's a uh, space station multi-tool thingamadoo, even though you find it here. Don't worry, I'll be explaining all this in an upcoming uh, multi-tool guide. <laughs> I'm going to leave a comm station on PC here. Um, if you're on console, you're probably going to have to find it the old-fashioned way, but it's not too hard because it's a moon, so that's really helpful. Um, just to be extra clear in case someone renamed it something different, it's the hot moon. I think there's actually only one moon in this system. But anywho, I'll go and put a comm station down. Um, remember, if you haven't seen, if you go to any of these locations and you don't see the actual multi-tool, any multi-tool there, then it's possible it's a multiplayer related issue, at least that's what I think it is at the moment. And as far as I know, there is no way to get it back at the moment. Basically, to prevent this from happening, go in with multiplayer turned off, and I'm pretty sure that that will stop it from happening. So yes, that's all of the MTs I have for you today. If you want to find any of these MTs, then check out the portal addresses on screen now. These will take you to the planet, and then just follow the general instructions, and you'll get it. There is a predator attacking something in the background while I'm doing this. Hmm. Um, I've also put the addresses in the pinned comment as well as links to Lava Lamp's channel as well as to the original post on the Nomad Sky Exchange, Coordinate Exchange Reddit by Azula. Um, thank you both of you for finding these awesome tools and sharing them with us. It's just, yeah, re really nice of you to do that. Also remember to turn multiplayer off before you go to the system where these mortals are because otherwise someone else may have already picked it up first and there'll be nothing in there so yeah just be careful with that there's no retroactive fix that I know of so if you miss it you're just gonna have to look for another multi-tool unfortunately hopefully that will be fixed in the future but it's not currently so yeah thank you for checking out this video we have a discord full of awesome people we have a website we've got a merch store if you want to support the channel and have something tangible he's back again that predator he's crazy he's gonna kill everyone he's gonna come after me after Make sure to subscribe and ring the bell so you're notified of news, guides and other such things. I'll make sure you guys are kept up to date with all the latest patch notes and other such things. As well as going deep diving into the game to find out exactly how everything works and the best way to do things. So yeah, thanks for watching folks and have a fantastic day.